Just a foundation coming at you with my week five picks. Um, <laughs> I did horrible last week. I was seven and eight. <laughs> but again, I don't care as long as I get that one win. Boom. Um, so let's let's get let's get it rolling. Um, tomorrow, Arizona Cardinals, San Francisco 49ers. A lot of injuries this game. And the reason I'm going to roll with the 49ers, I don't know. Um, Carson Palmer, I might be wrong, but Carson Palmer, I think, is still in the. Um, the concussion protocol so if he doesn't play I mean it's not like he's been burning anything but you know he's been you know lights out but but at the same time you know if he doesn't play you know I don't trust their backups um, so I can see San Francisco as long as Gabbard avoids that big mistake you know they, I think they can pull this game out all right um, next the Washington Redskins and the Baltimore Ravens I get to legitimately say that the Reds, uh, the Baltimore Ravens, is gonna win this game. It's gonna be a fun matchup, though. Um, you know, I think the Ravens, you know, wanna be continue their their um, lead in the division. And on top of that, you know, I think the, I, 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 you know, it's gonna be a great thing. I think Cadell should watch this game. You know, keep his eye on this game because, you know. Uh, Steve Smith Sr., he's a, he's not a guy to, I mean, you can trash talk him, but you better be careful what you say because he does not take back down and he will go after you. But it's going to be a fun thing between him and Josh Norman. <laughs> so, you know, I can see this, I can see this, um, but I can see Baltimore Ravens, you know, being at home, I can see them winning this game. You know, Washington has been showing, um, uh, after, after the first couple weeks, they've been showing you know, but much better, much better poise and all that. So, but I, but I just, you know, got to roll with the Ravens. <laughs> uh, next, the New England Patriots and the Cleveland Browns. Oh, the way for Brady is over. You know, it might take him maybe a series, you know, maybe a series to, to get back, get back into this thing. But, you know, against the Browns, you know, you know, against the Browns, it, it's, it's a it's a what the doc, kind of like what the doctor order kind of thing. Um, and New England, they they they've been in a lot of their games. You know, last week to me was this because they were so limited because Brissett was in like a hundred percent. You know, so so and then the Bills defense is now a joke. But you know, but then you know that's very limited. Cleveland Browns, um, they look like they're gonna make their first pick again. <laughs> um, but the only thing is, like, they do play hard for him. You know, they've been in a couple games. Um, they could have won the one against the Dolphins, but that's a good sign that, you know, for Hugh Jackson that they're playing hard. For, you know, he gets, he gets his, with the limited amount of talent that he has, he, you know, he gets them to play hard. So, you know, great coaching on that on that side. Uh, Philadelphia Eagles and the Detroit, Detroit Lions. Uh, gotta go with the Eagles, you know. I don't like to, I, I don't like that, but you know they look right now. The first, the first quarter of the season, they look like a legit team. Wentz is showing that he's, you know, he's, he's so far he's been the, um, the franchise quarterback they've been waiting for, and you know their defense is, their defense is it, like how I said in the, um, in the beginning, their defense is very solid. Um, you know, so Wentz can, you know, Wentz can play more aggressively and not but you know he's very careful with the ball but you know he does, he's not having to force the issue kind of thing because you know he has a defense to rely on the lions coming off of two division rival games you know hard fought games you know even though they're at home i just cannot see them winning this game okay chicago chicago bears and the annapolis colts i don't go with the colts but man they really got to start doing something for Andrew Luck because this front office has not done nothing. I mean, they've drafted here and there, but, you know, other than T.Y. Hilton and the center, you know, you really have nothing to go back on, you know. You know, their defense is okay, um, but, you know, like, Gore is trying his hard, you know, Gore is up there in age, and he's trying to play hard, but, you know, he does not have a do dominant offensive line to, to you know, so he cannot do, you know, because he's not as you know, explosive as he was before in the beginning of his career. Um, but the Chicago Bears, man, they just cannot catch a break. I mean, now, right before when I was making this video, um, White again is going to go on the IR again. So this 
the Spirits team is just very decimated right now. <clears throat> um, Tennessee Titans and the Miami Dolphins. I sorry, my brother, Marcus Marada. I gotta go with the Miami Dolphins. Uh, Miami Dolphins has been showing very inconsistent, but you know, having ten days off maybe maybe is what the doctor ordered for them. Um, Tennessee is showing improvements, but I don't think it's not gonna be good enough to overcome overcome in this game. So I'm gonna roll with the Dolphins playing at home. Um, next, the uh, Houston Texans and the Minnesota Vikings. Going with the Vikings, you know, their defense is this up on the cusp. You know, if they do, if they shut down this team, I'll, I'll give them the Bronco, the Bronco defensive, defensive um, props. You know, Sam Bradford. You know, like I was just mentioning with uh, Carson Wentz, he, he all he has to do is not make the not to make the big mistakes. He can. You know, he doesn't have to make plays. All he has to do is get into, you know, get into them good situations. And, you know, they can they can win the game. You know, the defense creates turnovers, creates short fields for them, you know. So, you know, it's not a comp you know, it, um, Bradford does not have to win the game. You know, all he has to do is not lose the game. Um, Houston Texans, you know, very explosive. Um, but Osweiler has been making mistakes, and you don't want to make mistakes, especially at Vikings against the Vikings. So you don't want to do that. So I but I'm gonna roll with the Vikings. Um New York Jets and the Pittsburgh Steelers. With uh I, I made a mistake. I forgot that Le'Veon Bell coming back. I mean I have a lot of respect for D'Angelo Williams but you know Le'Veon Bell is a different animal. You know, you have to game plan for that guy. So he's he's gonna create more opportunities for Antonio Brown. Um and the Jets, even though the Jets' defense is very solid, Fitzpatrick has been putting them in a lot of bad situations. You know, he just joined the interceptions left and right. So, so you know, going to go with Pittsburgh being at home. Um, Atlanta Falcons and the Denver Broncos. Going with the Broncos and they playing at home. You know, their defense, again, like I said about the Minnesota Vikings, you know, their defense is just the best in the league right now. They create turnovers. They, you know, they sack the quarterback. They, they shut down teams. Um, so, you know, they're just the best defense. Um, and then now you start to see, I, I think, I don't know if Lynch, Lynch or Simeon can play, but, you know, they're getting the ball into the playmaker's hands, you know, Sanders and and um, Thomas, you know, and C.J. Anderson, he's, you know, he's been that, you know, rock-solid running back to keep the ball moving kind of thing, you know. Atlanta, but I mean, you know, Julio Jones is, you know, it hurts for me to say this, but Julio Jones is the best playing right now. He's the best wide receiver in the game. But at Denver, no. <laughs> um, Buffalo Bills and the LA Rams. This is going to be an old school um, defensive struggle. I like these kind of games because you always got to, wait for who's going to make the big mistake or who's going to score, you know, in the most unusual way, like whether it be a punt return, punt block, whatever. You know, it, it's one of the, I really like those kind of games where it's so unpredictable, you don't know, you know, and all that. Uh, Buffalo Bills, you know, defensively, they they shown, they shown good signs, you know, but I just don't trust um, Rob Ryan. <laughs> um, San Diego Chargers and the Oakland Raiders, this is opposite from what I was just telling about the Rams. Uh, this is going to be a high scoring game uh, but you know one thing is that the San Diego Chargers have been choking away leads and Oakland Raiders have been just pulling out games you know at the end of, edge of their teeth you know so you know I can see the I can see the uh, Raiders again winning this game in a, in a high scoring close game though. Uh, next the uh, New York Giants and the Green Bay Packers um, you know, people automatically put in this a win column for the Packers. I don't think so. I mean, you know, because it's not like the Packers have a shutdown defense, you know. So if, if Eli Manning can get rolling with these receivers and, you know, back and keep his head in the game, you know, maybe he can start having fun again. <laughs> um, you know, but 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 you, I think I think if they can get on a roll that way, they can they can pull this game out. I mean, but I'm going to roll with the Packers just because, you know, they're at home, you know. And if the defense doesn't step up for the Giants, the, what the money they paid for, then, you know, Aaron Rodgers is going to tear, tear them apart. 
because their secondary is decimated to the, the Giants. Um, so finally, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Carolina Panthers. This is gonna, this is like the NFC last year, NFC East last year. I mean, who's gonna want this division <laughs> kind of thing? But but I, I I'm gonna roll with Carolina just because just because you know they're at home, you know, and you know I think quite a lot of questions are being brought up, and I think they're gonna want to answer. You know, Winston's shown improvement, but he still makes mistakes. So I think I think the Carolina Panthers are gonna. It's a gut check time. I think it's gonna be for for them to. I mean, I said that last week, but I think this time it's really, really evident. You know, it's a must. Um, anyway, that's my video. Um, as always, I'm gonna make my Cowboys video separately. That's the way I do it. Mahalo for watching. Paniolo is good Cowboys.